to beat his cover back, no more pen and pad. Trans cards, my worst best gadget I ever had. Oh, plot note, you're my techie muse. Capturing moments I just can't refuse. From me to memos, you do it all. With your sleep design, you answer the call. Just tech, Claudio's got the style, keeps you in check. Summarizes notes, makes life so grand. The best day I partner, right in your head. Hey guys, today I'm excited to review the Plod Note. That's right, this is a little voice recorder that allows you to record voice conversation either in person or with the flip of a switch, you can record your voice conversations on your cell phone. It is an extremely lightweight and thin device, as you can see right here. It's meant to go on the back of your phone, so it's got a little case right here that it comes with that it slips right into, and then that device can then stick onto the back of your phone quite easily, so we'll check that out. Okay, let's jump into this little device. As we can see on the screen, it says you get a free 300 minutes per month when you first buy the device. After that, you have to subscribe to either a monthly or yearly plan. Uh, they can say they've won some awards. Basically, it gives you the free app. Transcription and summary is a cost, and it does have one touch recording. So when I have it in the right setting mode, I can just touch the button and it's going to start recording right then and there. Uh, let's take a quick look down the website. As we can see, it does have a lot of users already. Apparently, we'll see about that. Now, revolutionize efficiency with the Plod Note in 2024. Originally 185 right now for 159 You can get it. It's available in black, starlight, or silver. All right. One press recording, transcription and summary, powered by ChatGPT. It says here that it's going to be recording the calls via vibration conduction sensor. Yeah, a vibration conduction sensor. Interesting. So it's going to record them not through your actual phone app, but through something in here. It's very interesting. Never miss a vital piece of information. Personally, I plan to use this device during business meetings as well as during future upcoming podcasts. That way I can actually summarize, utilize the information in the most advantageous way. And I think that doing it through this way, having them actually recorded, backed up, being able to listen to them if I needed to, but also being able to pull the data and get summarizations from them in the most important points just at a quick whim is going to be something very important, powerful, and you know, hopefully unlocking things that I haven't felt before. This little guy is supposed to be ready when it's needed with 30 hours of continuous recording. I'm gonna have to test that. 60 days of standby time. You can see right here on the back is where the charge cable is going to attach. All right, and lifetime companion, 64 gigabytes on this little guy, meaning it has up to 240 days of 64 gigabyte storage. That's if you do two hours daily. Okay, got it, got it. So it's got a lot of, of data available on here, which if you're going to be cleaning it regularly, which I do for most of my devices, I'm really not worried about that. 64 gigabytes is plenty of space. And that's pretty much all we have on the website there. Congratulations, you've just activated your three month plan. Okay, after expiration, you'll get the free starter plan. All right. Okay, so I've got the Plod Note ready to go. It just snaps right onto the back of the iPhone, just like that. And as we're on the screen here, we can see what it shows us, view more details. Right now, the battery came medium. If I click the switch here on the back up, it's gonna show me, hey, recording is now happening. And if I flip the switch back down, it's gonna say, hey, recording is automatically restarted. Got it, okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop the recording. Okay, back where I wanted to be. My plod note, view more details. It shows us here our battery level. If we flip the recording mode, it's gonna go ahead and automatically start recording. Uh, I can see the storage is busy because it says I'm already currently using it to be recording. It has an auto idle shutdown of one hour and also has a firmware update, but it's up to date already. So I can access it via USB with the cable that it came with, which is right here. And it does have a USB-C attachment. So if I wanna change it from USB-A to USB-C, I can do that. A little magnetic attachment right there. Uh, one nice thing is down here at the bottom, you're gonna see raw files. If you enable the raw files, you're able to get actual high quality WAV files from the device itself, but you have to use this USB device to pull the actual WAV files from the Plod Note before you transfer them via the app. Because as it says right here, when you do that, it's going to automatically delete them from the Plod Note device. So short press the record button to wake up the Plod Note. The white light indicates that it's ready to bind. Okay, it tells me if I hold it down for one second, one second, I should feel a vibration and see a red light. And I do, I do, it happens. 
Check, 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 check. One, two, three, four, five. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and actually talk a little bit about some random subject, and then you're gonna see the summarization of what I'm talking about right now, okay? So let's go ahead and give it some thought topic about perception and perspective. That's right, I wanna talk about the differences between perspective and perception, because a lot of times people talk about perspective, such as their point of view, or where they're standing, where they are in a situation, or how they feel sometimes about a situation. So perspective not only means something physically, but it also can mean something emotional or mental, right? Something that you can't actually... Okay, so you can see my most recent rant was two minutes and 42 seconds. If we click on that, it's gonna go ahead and instantly give us some information. So I'm gonna go ahead and, oh, at the transcription, okay, we're not, we don't have any of that stuff yet. So we need to hit summary. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and actually talk a little bit about some random subject, and then you're gonna see the summarization of what I'm talking about right now. Okay, we're gonna hit the generate button right now to generate in English, if you have multiple speakers, you can click the Distinguish Speakers button. It's going to try to use information through algorithms, machine learning, and AI to differentiate those two. But right here, this is meeting note, call, speech, consulting meeting, report meeting, discussion meeting, class, lecture, training, specific call, Q&A, discussion call. Let's hit Initiate Generation. Uploading audio file, transcribing in progress. Ooh. I can feel the vibration and see a red light, and I do, I do, it happens. So if I go into the phone and I just check, I... the summary is understanding recording mode, perspective versus perception, and the importance of communication. That's right. So it tells us our information time, recording mode. The speaker mentions feeling a vibration and seeing a red light indicating the phone is in recording mode. The speaker discusses the differences between perspective and perception. Perspective can be physical, emotional, or mental, while perception is shaped by physicality, experiences, values, and upbringing. Hmm, okay. Importance of communication. The speaker emphasizes the importance of communication and gathering multiple perspectives to make informed decisions. Open communication broadens perception and creates more opportunities. Yeah, all right. That's, that's pretty good. It's a pretty good overall summarization of my three minute or two and a half minute talk. If we go into mind map, okay. Next arrangements, insert more so. For the fact that it only had two minutes of information right there, pff, Good job. All right, so that's it right now. I'm gonna go ahead and end the recording on this. All right guys, so at this point in the video, I wanna actually use this device in a real world situation. So tomorrow when I'm teaching, I'm going to use the Plod Note and turn it on, listen to my teaching back and forth with a student and see how it summarizes the class and hopefully get some feedback for myself as a teacher to see how I can improve and how I can direct my class in the more appropriate way. And using this kind of a gadget, will not only do that, but also give me a repository of recordings that I can keep, and that's going to allow me to not only get better, but use this tool for other people as trainings. This is something that I'm really excited to use and add not only to my workflow for teaching, but also for the future of podcasting, because when I have a guest live with me, I can literally just transcribe and generate the audio while I'm speaking with the guest and even get potentially questions or the ability to kind of fine tune what I maybe want to talk about next time with someone else through this process. So uh, I'm, I'm really excited to see what I can do with it and I'm going to bring you guys along with me as we do that. So let's, let's check it out. Hey guys, end of the video update here. I've been using this now for two weeks and I've had the opportunity to use it in different scenarios, whether it be a podcast or phone calls. Just recently I got back from the Mining Disrupt Conference in Miami, which you just saw in some of that footage, where I got to speak with people all over the industry of AI and cryptocurrency, and a bunch of the people there saw that I was carrying this device while having conversations, and they were saying, hey, what is that? And they obviously were like, I wanna know more about it. So uh, in this video, I just wanted to do this last quick little update and show you guys right here that we do have Claude 3.5 Sonnet. What this simply means is more options and flexibility when it comes to creating your templates. And if you wanna know more information, you can check out the emails and website. Uh, lastly, what I truly like about this device is its form factor. Because it's able to keep a charge for so long and just be conveniently able to be used, I actually used it. 
And not only that, but the ability to very quickly put it into ChatGPT or of Claude uh, made it so that I did it every single time. Almost every single time I had a conversation, I just put that in there and I wanted to see the summary. I realized that I retained information not just because I had it transcribed, but because I was able to read the summaries and put those in a way that actually made sense to me. So being able to prompt the actual responses that I get from this device really does open up a whole new level of customization and make it usable and applicable for people in many business situations. So I highly encourage you to check this out. If it's something that you think you might use, you probably will. If you think it's something you won't use, you probably won't. So make a choice that's good for you. I, again, am very, very happy that I have this device. And again, for the simple fact that I can use it as a dictaphone uh, on, on a day-to-day -day basis is pretty cool, let alone the fact that I can then summarize it with AI on a convenient uh, platform that makes it really, really easy to use. So anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Until next time, I'll see you in the next review. Take care. Bye. From the instrumentals, you do it all.